Cotabato Acting Governor Sherlyn Macasarte assured the prisoners who escaped the provincial jail that no additional criminal charges be filed against them if they will surrender themselves to the authorities. Joy Gumatai filed this report. Based on the information from the 39th Infantry Battalion on the so-called largest mass escape in Philippine history, approximately 30 fugitives are already under the custody of the authorities. These are not the hardcore people. No? Uh, kaya nga, itong police niya, hindi lang naman na-captured, nag-surrender at uh, lumapit sa ibang kamag-anak nila sa mga local government officials, lumapit sila doon para makahingi ng linya at makasurrender properly dito sa atin. Open din sila nagbibigay ng information. And then yung iba naman naman, iba naman na nahuli is uh, they were just forced daw to, to escape. Nasabi Furthermore, six were killed on the manhand operations currently conducted by the police force and the armed forces with the help of several residents revealing the whereabouts of the fugitives. The Bangsamora Islamic Freedom Fighters earlier refuted allegations that they were behind such act, but the authorities are still looking into the possibility of prisoners hiding on the corners of MILF camps in Mindanao. Kirapawan Acting Governor Sherlyn Makasarte cleared that no additional charges will be imposed on surrendered fugitives. Furthermore, AFP refused to believe hearsays that the Kirapawan jailbreak is part of the alleged terrorist attack in Manila on the fist of the Black Nazarene. Furthermore, our security force is fully prepared to protect millions of Filipinos who will take part on this traditional event. Lagi po tayong naghahanda at lagi po tayong nakikipagtulungan sa ating mga kapatid sa Philippine National Police sa pagsiguro ng isang mahalagang insidente, isang mahalagang event na katulad nito sa ating bansa ay masisiguro nating tahimik, mapayapa at taimtim nating may daraos. For PTV News, Joy Gumata.